Hey guys, Dr. Frank here, the founder of Addiction Mindset. You may recognize me from TikTok, at Doc Frank here, Instagram, Addiction Mindset, Snapchat, Addiction Mindset, or YouTube. I'm the guy that helps people quit nicotine, THC products, and energy drinks. Yes, I'm a certified addiction recovery coach. Let's jump right into it. So the name of this video, Get Through 72. This video is in reference to the first 72 hours when quitting a substance, especially when it comes to nicotine or THC-containing products. This could certainly apply to caffeine as well or energy drinks. So when people first quit, the hardest part about quitting is those first 72 hours. Let's talk about nicotine real quickly and if you're vaping or smoking cigarettes, what it is you can expect. So day one for most people actually isn't that bad. They're usually pretty enthusiastic about quitting. They've had this elaborate plan in their head. This is the time, it's New Year's, it's my birthday, it's whatever event. And today's the day that I'm going to quit and it's not that big of a deal. They say, you know what, that wasn't so bad. Then 48 hours rolls around and they're saying, wait a minute, I'm really, really craving some nicotine right now and I'm sweating a lot and I think I have a headache and maybe I got the chills. I might be getting sick. What's going on right now? So this is pretty common in the first 48 hours, increased craving, sweating, that's your body detoxing the stuff out, maybe getting the chills or feeling a little flu-like symptoms. A lot of people also start to notice dramatic changes in their appetite and their eating patterns, right? Suddenly you're not hungry in the mornings, maybe you're starving, maybe you're not hungry at all. It really depends on the individual. And then we approach that 72 hour mark, that's day number three, and that's where nicotine withdrawals begin to peak. That's where people experience the most nicotine withdrawals, in most cases at that day number three. And then after that, things actually start to get pretty easy. Now, when it comes to quitting THC-containing products, a lot of the symptoms and side effects are actually quite similar. But THC, people who are quitting that, they tend to suffer a lot from insomnia. They find that they're up for 24 to 48 hours at a time. No matter what they do, they can't seem to fall asleep. And this insomnia drives them crazy. Here's my best advice when it comes to getting through the first 72. Just get through the first 72. Don't overcomplicate things, okay? Withdrawals, a minor headache, insomnia, 48 hours of insomnia, having a little bit of chills. None of these things are that big of a deal when you look at them in comparison to a lifetime of addiction and the consequences of a lifelong addiction. Now, hopefully you watched my other video on the top three things you need to do when you first start to quit, making the list of your top seven goals, top seven reasons you wanna quit, and top seven things you need to do to accomplish those goals. If you compare these withdrawals to what's at stake, you may find that these withdrawals actually aren't that bad, and they're they're not something that you need to make a really big deal about. Yes, insomnia is a pain. Yes, having headaches are annoying, but you can take an aspirin. Yes, sweating is no fun, right? Go take a cold shower, okay? No big deal. Take a warm shower, cold shower, whatever you have to do. Appetite changes, I have a different video on that because that's a whole nother topic, okay? Something else that I want you to keep in mind is the mindset when it comes to the first 72 and getting through the first 72. You could look at this point in time as a really crappy time and say, oh my gosh, this sucks, I'm going through nicotine withdrawals, this is terrible, woe is me. Or you could look at these withdrawals as an opportunity to grow. Think about it, each time you feel a little ding of withdrawal, and trust me, they're minor, it's nothing to be afraid of, but each time you feel that little ping of withdrawal, that little feeling of uncomfort, tell yourself and celebrate that is the addiction leaving your body. That is quite literally the poison leaving your body. Now remember, 
Addiction is going to do anything it can to try and pull you back in. So yes, it's going to create physical changes. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of a mind game going on in the first 72. Don't let addiction fool you into thinking that you need this substance to feel good. The reason why you feel kind of crappy in the first 72 is because of that substance in the first place. A lot of people, myself included at one point, were very confused by that, and it always tends to pull us back in. The digestive issues, the sweating, the insomnia is a big one, right? Oh, I, if I just smoke this cart, I'll fall asleep. It's not true. You don't need it. It's addiction's last-ditch effort to try and pull you back in. So when you do feel those minor withdrawals, when you do feel some of those things, ignore them. They're going to pass very, very, very quickly, and celebrate them because that's a sign that you're making progress. Each withdrawal you have is a sign of progress. Now, after the first 72, and I made a different video on this, things get so much easier. Day four and day five, you're gonna start feeling really good. Two weeks in, you're gonna be doing great. Then we look for that month mark, two month mark, and then three months at the 90 day mark, which I've also made a separate video on hitting that three month mark. So. Get through the first 72. Another thing that I like to encourage people to do is to focus on maintaining a positive mindset. Don't go into quitting thinking that you're giving something up. You're not giving up anything. You're actually gaining a lot. You're not losing anything. You're not losing anything. I know people think they're losing a buzz and they're losing this crutch and they're losing this thing that was part of their life. You're losing a ball and chain that was keeping you trapped in a nightmare of addiction. You are gaining so much freedom back by doing this. So when you quit, don't go into it looking at it from the point of view of, oh, this is going to suck. Oh, I'm going to have withdrawals. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, what am I going to say to my friends? No, get yourself psyched up. I'm giving this up because I'm going to accomplish life goals. I'm giving this up because I'm going to be moving forward and making progress in my life. I am excited about leaving this addiction behind and no longer being a slave to this nightmare that the last several months or several years has consumed my life. You're really taking your life back and that's something that you should be celebrating because I'm telling you once you quit, once you quit and you become obsessed with things that move your life forward versus things that are destructive in your life, amazing things are going to start to happen. I'm excited for you. You should be extremely excited for yourself. So remember, reframe the mindset, celebrate the withdrawals, and they're nothing to fear. 72 hours tops, and you're going to be well on your way to success. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe, check out the other videos, check out the other social media platforms, and look for the book that's coming one day, the Addiction Mindset Book and Workbook. Have a great day, guys.